Hi there guys, it's Will from Jolly Old Tech and what I have today for you is the top 10 tech of 2012. Let's do this. Okay, so what we have here is the Nexus 7 to start off the list. It was announced back in June this year. It launched with Android Jelly Bean 4.2.1. So far, over 3 million have been sold. It's just got a really beautiful 7 inch screen. I'm a really massive fan of this product, and chances are I'm going to get myself one for Christmas. Okay, next up is the iPhone 5. Apple announced this back on September 4th of this year, and it was released on the 21st across many different countries. Over 5 million units were sold within the first 3 days of release. It came running with iOS 6 and it had the very powerful Apple A6 chip inside. It's a beautiful piece of technology. Now on to the next one. Okay, now this is Windows 8. Uh, it was released back in October 26th. It works on tablets, PCs and even laptops. It introduced the awesome Windows Store where you can buy apps, programs and everything else all within Windows little area. And over 4 million users upgraded to Windows 8 on the weekend after its release. Okay, now this is Raspberry Pi, one of my favourite pieces of tech and I really do need to get my hands on one at some point. It's a credit card sized single board computer. It was released back in February around the 29th. It runs Linux really well but you can have Chrome OS and a whole different amount of operating systems on there. It's running really, really well. And you can buy it for around $35, so it's cheap as anything. Definitely worth getting one. Now this is the MakerBot. Uh, the MakerBot company has been going for a couple of years now, but this year, in January, they announced the Replicator. It can uh, make almost anything you want, and more people than ever are using them. A lot of people are using them uh, for really interesting projects, like starting up new businesses where they can make phone cases and those kind of stuff all from their home. And the product itself only costs around $2,000, so obviously, after a little while, you should really make your money back. And you can make whatever you want, you can make your own phone cases, it's cool as anything. Now this is one of the biggest stories of the year, the Red Bull Stratos. Over 8 million people were watching this live on YouTube as it happened. Felix, the man who jumped, broke the speed of sound and reached a speed of 834.4 miles per hour. It's a really amazing show of obviously tech and what you can do these days if you just put your mind to it. Okay, now next up we have Facebook buying Instagram. Obviously it's originally set to buy for $1 billion, but the uh, eventual price it came to around $747 million after they took everything into consideration and obviously over the months of things going on. Instagram currently has over 50 million active users, and I personally use it as well. So I'll put my link down there as well if you want to follow me on there. I normally post pictures of puppies myself or things I think are nice. <laughs> okay, now onto the Samsung Galaxy S3. It was made available in over 150 countries thereabouts in July of 2012, obviously this year. It's the world's most popular smartphone, and obviously it was launched with Android ICS. Updating to Jelly Bean soon, and it's just a brilliant, brilliant phone. Okay, now what we have here is Google Fiber launching. Obviously it was announced a couple of years back, and Kansas obviously won in America. Obviously they have it there by naming themselves Google Kansas for a short while. This became uh, available to all their residents within September. And it provides speeds of up to and around a gigabit a second, which is just mad. Also, for those who didn't know, on April Fools, Google announced that Google Fiber was actually going to be an edible fiber bar instead of fiber optic internet. So that's Google for you. And finally, we have Google Glass, also known as Project Glass or Google Goggles, and it was announced back in June 2012 at Google I.O. Project Glass is being developed in Google's secret laboratory. <laughs> Believe it or not, called Google X Lab. The developer version is soon to be available for around $1,500, and it should be launching next year, mid to late 2013. But that just about does it for me, to be honest, guys. That's the top 10 tech of 2012 in no particular order. If you like this video, please do subscribe. I'm going to be having a lot more content coming out next year with weekly tech news, unboxings, and a lot more things of that nature. So if you like it, like it, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.